Welcome back to Tom's Kitchen and today we're out here with Henry and Henry is building his slab. He's uh, getting the slab ready for his oven and Henry what were you doing, how did you, how did you make this slab? Okay what we did first Tom is we worked out the dimensions of the slab and this slab here is 2.4 metres long by 1.4 metre wide. I'll just bring the by, camera down to it. And by 100 mil thick. Oh. So we worked out the dimensions and that worked out to about 38 bags of pre-mixed concrete. I went and bought a, a concrete mixer because I'm going to need it all through this process uh, for $370 and the, uh, the cement worked out roughly at about $180. So bought a bit of Rio bar for about 60 bucks, laid it all in, as you can see we did a bit of form work and it took us about three hours, two of us, to lay this slab. Oh my god, you did it very well. That was very fast. Yeah, it was. Um, now we'll leave that uh, for a week to cure and then we'll go back to, and as you can see I've already got the blocks uh, there. Oh yes, so, uh, the blocks over here. And as you can see, in a week's time, I'll lay the first three layers of blocks, then I'll put the lentils in, and then I'll actually work out how the pizza oven's going to sit on the... Uh, they are the limestone base. blocks, Henry, are they? They're limestone blocks, cost roughly about $3.50 each ton, down here from Remistone in Bigger Lake. All right. Um, and, uh, and yeah, in a week's time, we'll be ready to go for the next phase. And Henry, are you going to use the patio tube in the way we do it for the framing? Similar. Similar, similar. Okay. The, the principle is going to be the same, but because um, because this will have actually the, the, the wood uh, to be stored in the front, just in the front. All there, right. Yep. Yep. The yep, back yep. is going to be also a storage area, and you won't be able to see that. Right. So it'll be and that's your back. that's your cellar that there at the back yeah, that you I'm walked on. I'm actually using the oven as a kind of rail, so people don't fall into the steps <laughs> for the cellar. <laughs> so that's worked out quite well. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, that's great, Henry. What we'll do is we'll come back. When you're um, building the, when you've got some of the block work done, we'll come back and we'll take another shot of video, okay? Yeah, love to have you. And time thanks time. for that, thank you. Good on you. And here we're back at Henry's place, and Henry doesn't know we're coming today, so we're going to surprise Henry, and uh, hopefully we get him building the, the, uh, the block work, but I'm not sure what he's doing. We'll see how we go. And I'm just going to check out as Henry building his oven. But Mary's here, his wife. Mary, is Henry, is he building the oven? Yes, he is. Yes? Oh, yes. and we'll sneak in on him. What do you reckon? Yes, okay. good idea. He doesn't know you're here anyway. Here you go. Henry! Hey, Tom, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> building, you're building the oven. You, didn't, you, you knew we were coming, but you didn't know we were bringing the camera around. Yeah, yeah. finally caught me working. You, did, you, didn't see know, you. you didn't know we were bringing the camera, did you? <laughs> I shortened the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god, this, is, this looks very good. What have you, you have different compartments here. What are you doing here? Well, I started, I started this morning, and, and as our, our last talk, we first had the cement pad down, and right. then we, we talked about building the block. I've chosen these, uh, these sandstone blocks because they're easy, and if you want to make a couple of mistakes, they're easy to cover up on these as well, rather than perfect brickwork. Henry, so, Henry, we don't want any mistakes. No, of course not. We, of course we don't not. want any cover-ups. No. It's a very important piece of it, okay? Of course not. So what's happened is I started this morning about 7 o'clock, um, started laying the blocks. First I had to get the first few blocks level and angled. And that's it. One of the problems that, that I did come across was the blocks are very heavy and they sink. That means oh. that squashes the cement out and get different levels. We've overcome this by putting wooden blocks oh, at 20 mil, which is a good distance. So you just put one in like that. I'll just lay a block now to, to show you how effective it is. And there, the, the cement is obviously proud. But Henry, this looks very professional, what you've been doing here. Well, it's the first time around, Tom. So the, uh, this is the first time you've yeah, made I'm, I'm a novice at this, so. Well, okay, I believe you, because I think you're an honest man. But other than that, I would find it hard to believe, because that looks very, very, very professional. And there you go. That's, and that gives you your perfect levels. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And all you've got to do is do it by an eye. Gee, that's a fantastic idea for, for people who are doing their own, Henry, to, to, oh. to know that. Yeah, absolutely. And then you just fill in the joints. Yep, well the joints are already, as you can see, the cement is proud, so it's, it's stuck on underneath. Oh, there and then you just fill in the gaps. And the beauty of the sand soap stuff is, you don't have to get your gaps perfect until the end. As you can see, I've got the gaps in there. As long as they're all cemented together, yes. then the last thing you do is go and fill in all the gaps. 
Okay, so you can see I've done a bit at the front where I finished that off. That's the end product. But that's what it's like when you first lay it. Oh, very good. And you did this all this morning? From this all morning. this morning, yes. Oh, wow. Once you've set out your, your measurements, you just go ahead. But if Henry, if you've done it for the first time, and, and then anybody can do it. It's only we, we oh, hard. <laughs> three, what do you have, four or five hours? Uh, yeah, about six hours today, wasn't it? Uh, but uh, Mary was probably the one that was doing all the work behind the scenes and she, she, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't say anything, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well Henry, that's fantastic. You're doing an absolutely fantastic job. What we'll do is we'll come back when you start building the oven. Absolutely. And we see how good you are at building the oven. Well, the tricky part now, obviously, is to get the, oven, get the thing set up for the oven. Yes. So that's to put in your steel bars and... and Thing like that. So, so where the, the oven is going actually on this, on this one here, is it? Well, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to be all one level at the top, oh, with, oh. The, with the oven protruding out of the middle. So this, the oven will be wider than that. Oh, and I see what you're doing then, yes. And so it's one flat top. Right. So oh. how we set out the, the steel work and the framework to, to actually receive the oven right. um, will be our problem on the next round. So I'll get this up to a level and get all the steel work ready, and perhaps then you want to come round. Because a lot of people, I find a lot of people struggle with this section here. They don't, they think it's a far bigger job than it really is, and you've proven that it's not a big job at all. No, 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 not, not at all. I mean, if, if you're a little bit handyman in mind, it's good. Even a novice, if it takes his time, he can get back and through it. And it doesn't have to be as big as this. But where did you get your expertise when you were a general engineer in? No, 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 no. I'm a museum manager, so, <laughs> so I certainly, uh, certainly haven't got the hands Well, a museum manager certainly can do a good job later, that's all I can say. Well, Henry, we'll come back when you're doing the, you're right. doing the stable, thanks very much, yeah. and we'll see you very soon. Okay, thank thanks you. Thanks a lot, Tom. Cheers. Hi, guys. Well, here we are. We're on now on day four of my pizza oven build, and so far we've managed to lay the concrete slab, we managed to put up the base of the, of the pizza oven out of the sandstone block and now what I've done over the last day is to fit out the, uh, the steel structure in order so we can put a uh, hardy board on top of this and enable them to put the pizza oven on top. If you have a look at the structure, the structure it had this ball now cost me around about $160 for all the steel and that was brand new. What we've done here is, is also put steel supports on internal walls so that it really gives it a lot of support and there'll be no chance of movement in the future. My next step in this process is to put the hardy board down and then the next time you'll be seeing me when we actually start to build the pizza oven uh, on the hardy board and that'll be in day five. So we'll see you then. Yes, I got